Hello and welcome to the Scratch Coding class. So at the time of this recording, it is Christmas Day. So today we are going to make a Christmas scene on Scratch. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to the channel and let's get started. Okay, so first we need to get the sprites and the backdrop. So um, the sprites are not actually going to be in the Scratch library. Um, so I'm going to uh, import them from my computer. As you can see here, I've already uh, got three sprites waiting. And then I'm also going to um, import the backdrop. And it's going to be a plain snow backdrop and you can just get images from a search engine like google and then save them but make sure there's no white around um, the sprite or the image and um, i'm going to reposition these sprites i'm going to change the direction of the ladder because we want the elf to be climbing the ladder so i think that's good there and, and then the elf i think is a wee bit too big so i think size 60 a good size and we're going to have the elf move up and down the ladder uh, okay, so first, um, we're going to make a star on top of the Christmas tree, uh, so we can go on the Scratch library and there is a star, and what we want the star to do is go on top then uh, keep changing size, so we can get bigger and smaller, and it's going to keep doing that in a loop, and this project is actually very easy, it's really good for beginners, um, because there are no limits to what you can program, you can do anything you want, so we can do forever, and then we need to go into uh, looks and then change size by so we can uh, change the size by 20 and then we can change the size by minus 20 or we could use the set size but I'm just going to use the change one then we need a weight block of one second between each and now when I um, press the green flag as you can see the star goes bigger then smaller and it will keep doing that right the next thing we want to do is um, we're going to add some baubles onto the tree, so we can choose a sprite, and I'm actually going to use the ball for this, and I'm just going to do one for this video, but you probably want to do more than one, so here are the different costumes, and I'm actually going to delete all of them, and there's one here, and I'm just going to keep it, and we want um, the bobble to change colour every time, so we need um, when we flag clicked, and then we do it forever, and then we can use this color effect. And the color effect um, is currently it's just yellow, but when I change it, as you can see, the color um, is different. So we can do forever. We're going to repeat ten times. We're going to change the color effect by twenty-five, and there should be a lot of colors. And then we're going to wait, I think, not point two seconds, and then we can set it back to zero after the repeat. So it's going to keep doing that forever and now we can test it out, there we go, it's switching colour. And the next thing uh, we want is the elf to be climbing the ladder. So currently um, the elf should be at the bottom and this is the position uh, minus 3 minus 85. So we're going to use a glide for this actually. So we're going to glide to the top of the ladder which is here and that is minus 84, 99. And then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get it to glide up, then we're going to get it to glide back down. And that's going to keep repeating forever. So we need a forever loop. There we go. And we can test that out. There we go. It's just going up and down. We probably want it to start at the bottom of the ladder. So let's uh, get the coordinates correct. And that is our elf moving up and down the ladder. If uh, you want, you can maybe get the elf holding the star and then putting the star on top. Uh, but I'm just going to keep this uh, very simple. Right, the next thing is we're going to make a snowman. So this is on the Squash library. I'm going to type in snowman. And here it comes. And we're just going to put that there. And we can get it to move a wee bit. So and let's say we move right and then move left again. Uh, we can use the glide block for this, so where, um, when we move by click forever, and then we're going to get it to glide to the right. Uh, I'm going to keep the y coordinate the same as minus uh, 34, uh, and then the x coordinate uh, is back to 181, uh, and then we can keep doing this, and the snowman will move. And now I'm going to add um, bells onto my project, and the bells, when you click on the bells then, uh, there is going to be a song being played. So I'm going to do Jingle Bells in this case. So I already have the music out and I'm just going to um, program Jingle Bells onto it. So I'll see you when I'm finished that. Ok, 
Okay, so I've now finished the sound, and now when I click on the bell, it should play. And that's how far I got the program, because this takes quite a long time. And the final thing for this video is to add some snow falling when I press the space key on the keyboard. So first, uh, we choose a sprite and we want to paint it this time. And we want to make a circle with no outline and a fill about colour, I'd say 50, no, uh, no saturation at all and full brightness and that should give us white. And we want to make a circle so we can hold down the shift on our keyboard and then we can just draw a circle like that. I think that's a tiny bit too big, so I'm going to shrink it. As you can see there, that is about the size I would like. We're going to do a random size um, for the snow, so... Yeah, that's a good size. And we're going to clone loads of these, so um, it's going to be um, simulating snow. So first, we need to um, create the clones. So when the space key is pressed, then we're going to create 100 clones. But first we need to go to the front there and we basically need to see it in front of the Christmas tree and um, everything else on um, the backdrop right now. And then we need to hide it because I don't think we need to see the original copy. Then we're going to create 100 clones and we repeat 100 times and uh, create clones of myself. And then when I start as a clone, um, then we have to show and then we can set a random size and I'm going to use the random block and I'm going to say um, 80 to um, 120% and that's just going to um, change the size of the snow for each clone uh, just make it a bit more interesting so set size to um, pick random and then after we need to um, repeat the following two times the repeat is sort of unnecessary but I, I like it because um, it makes the snow a bit longer the, the more repeats you do then the longer the simulation is going to be and then we need to uh, go to coordinates I'm actually going to keep the Y coordinate to um, 170 because it needs to be falling from the top and then we can pick a random X coordinate for each clone so I'm thinking minus 230 and then we've got 230 and then we need to repeat the following 35 times so we need to repeat and then after we need to change the y by minus 10 so that's basically going to make the sprite go down so change y by minus 10 and then we need to wait for 0 0.03 seconds after that so it's just gradual it doesn't go down immediately so and then we need to delete the clone after and now when I press the space key and when we test this, there we go, loads of snow falling. I think that's a wee bit too big, um, so what we can do is we can maybe change the size here uh, to let's say 50 to 90 percent and hopefully that will be a tiny bit smaller, we can test this out now. Yeah that's way better, so it covers the whole screen with snow, it will eventually go away, um, there we go and that, that is our snow simulation finished. Okay, so we can do a final test of this project, so we can open the full screen, press the green flag, everything starts moving, and then maybe you can make the snow happen, and then press the uh, bell. Okay, I'm just going to stop it there. Everything is working perfectly, and that is going to be it for today's video of the Scratch Coding class. Um, you can improve this project, maybe add a few more sprites, or uh, you can maybe experiment with the different effects. I only use the colour effect in this video but there are a bunch of other effects and or even change uh, the snow here to be snowflakes. I have covered this in a previous video so hopefully uh, you can figure out how to do it yourself but um, thank you so much for watching this video um, if you enjoyed it make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more and have a really good Christmas. Bye for now.